Okay, so Jian, this is for ONGC. Can you just start with the introduction first? Sure, ma'am. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. My name is Jayanta Mahaburwa, and I belong to Sivsagar district in the state of Assam. Sivsagar is a historic town. It has a rich cultural heritage, and it has long been ONGC's one of many actively managed assets. My father is a hardworking and skilled cultivator, while my mother takes care of all the household jobs. I did my schooling from Senec School, Gualpara, and also plus two from there. Uh, after matriculation, I developed interest in chemistry as a subject. So I pursued my graduation in chemistry from Sipsagar College, Joysagar, Assam, under the affiliation of Dibrugarh University. Uh, during that period, I was fortunate enough uh, to have been able to uh, receive financial aid under UGC's Ishanada Special Scholarship Scheme. Uh, thereafter, I completed my post-graduation from Tejpur University in the year 2021. In the following year, I was able to qualify for GATE as well as CSR and a Junior Research Fellowship. Uh, Ma'am, I love to spend my leisure time watching movies and TV shows inspired from real events. Sometimes I also enjoy watching uh, science fiction and the non uh, and non fictional uh, fictional dramas with uh, interesting plot and a good screenplay. I also like to listen to music. And uh, recently, I have uh, picked up the guitar, and uh, currently, I'm practicing to learn the major chord progressions. Uh, although I cannot claim it is exactly a hobby, it is more of a habit than a hobby, but I do like to go for a run every day, preferably in the evening. It helps me to relax and it gives me the time and space for self-introspection if and when I need it. Uh, Ma'am, I believe that energy security is very crucial for a nation's social economic development. And the ONGC has achieved many milestones in securing India's energy needs. That is why I'm inclined to work for ONGC and would love to see myself as a part of the community of energy soldiers. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, this, uh, Jan, before I step into the next part, I want to point it out, like, suppose if this is interaction, there I stop it. Okay, Jan, you can leave now. Will it be justified? No, right? You would like me to have some of the conversation? Your interaction, your interview should always be two sides. Your introduction should be less than a minute. It should not be more than that. First thing, you need not to tell about your parents. You told me very good things about your city, about your family, about your father, about your mother. Uh, what are the like, uh, why you want to join ONGC? Even that question was not asked, right? What are the things that, oh, how uh, Assam is an asset for the ONGC? Like something like that. The basic portion about Jayant was missing. Like why, what is a specialization or what is a core strength in Jayant? Why he considers himself suitable or why I need to choose Jayant? That part is missing. You understand that? Okay. The introduction should not carry your parents' part. It should not carry your city part, basically. It should be, I'm just giving you a very replica of it. Good morning, ma'am. I am Jayant. Like, you have a good speaking skills. You have really good vocals. But you need to utilize it in the right Thank manner. You. And it should be like, good morning, ma'am. I am okay. Jayant. I belong to Assam or something. You can tell about your city in one line, brief. Then as I have done my graduation in this and the stream. Uh, and uh, there you can say is like uh, in chemistry, like area of export is something you can say organic and organic or something that my core strength or something that lies into it. After that, you if you have switched your PG or post graduation, you can tell it out that I was uh, so workaholic or you went to say I wanted to boost up my career. So I went for further studies. And there I did that. Uh, some of the project or something, if you have done so far, something great you have done. It should be about you, like what you have done great so far about any project about any internship, about any research, about anything like that. I want to know about Jayant. I don't uh, want to know about his city, his family, his anything, because they are not going for any kind of interview. Jayant is going for that, right? So yeah. even if I ask you, like, it should be my next question. Okay, Jayant, why you choose ONGC? Why in a particular you like it? Ma'am, in my city, there are some things and my people are there and I want to be in it. Then it should be the next question. Right. Okay. You cannot you should not sum up like you are continuously speaking for two, three minutes. It's not like that. You need to pause it out and you need to see the facial expressions or you need to see read out the mindset of the other person also. Like, OK, if someone is speaking like this to you, will you even listen? You will start. OK, mm -hmm. this person is just speaking. Let it be right. It so that is why I'm telling boring. you. Yeah, it gets boring. Even you have a great vocals and all that you need to utilize it. Like, what should I speak and where to demark it out? Introduction is okay. a main portion in any interview, be it uh, PSUs, be it your teaching, be it your any career, right? Yes, so just yes, let's start with your introduction first, correct it out. 
then okay. we will move like why own gc and all that so uh, there is a video also which i have made on it particularly like how you need to introduce yourself and then i have shared it in the groups there i have strictly warned the students like they come and they tell about their families and all that if you want to tell it i just say in the families in two cases if your family is in the psus and you got motivated from your father that can be one case either you belong to a very meager or a very you can say financially low stream family and you were like okay i want to do uh, on my academic experience or through my academic excellence i achieved great so there are two ways why otherwise if my say i say my uh, i come to you okay uh, jayant hi i am shubha my father is this and that i belong to a punjab it is a border area there is a, like uh, some kind of a pakistans and all that that is there and i think like i'm good for this uh, job and this is a job about it or if i come like okay hi jayant i am shubha i'm very good in linguistics and all that i'm very good in pronunciations i check the vocals i've done the transcriptions i have the owners in it whom will you choose the two candidates which come the yeah. one who will yeah the one who will tell about his specialization that does it really fit fit my organization or not clear mm. yes ma'am so Correct. yeah you have a sufficient time you are blessed with it like you have 20 days for that minimum of it you should like work on every uh, question one by one you have sufficient time for technical also hr also right okay. the best part can be like okay today you target your introduction you come again to me we'll we'll check it out like okay is the introduction ready now go ahead now what is the mission and vision did, did you read the website uh, did you check out the what is the logo and all that uh, what is the recent you can say ongc projects work uh, do you have any questions from ongc so this is the way the thing moves up so that is why i just pause you here that come prepared see the video come prepared with the introduction and then we should move with the flow okay, okay sure yeah then, so will you watch like you to today morning. yeah uh, sorry ma'am yeah do watch the video today make your introduction sure. new and then again you attend that chat otherwise it will be just i'm asking you questions and you're uh, speaking wrong of it no use of having an interaction like that right okay now yeah. one thing i'd like to ask uh, uh, is it okay if i uh, put in uh, if i add in my strengths and weaknesses in the introductory part or should i not uh, see i say like if you have less of the material add your hobbies and strength and material or that weakness if you have enough material like some have the phd some have the research work some have the project work so there is no need now that you need to figure out out that do you have uh, much of the content or less of the content like some students are okay. there they have the parts of btech like there i give you an option like they just give the btech and they uh, they just uh, don't even want to discuss about their project work so then i say okay talk about your some strength or weakness or some debate or some competitions you have won mm -hmm. otherwise leave it out because strength and weakness and hobbies a 10 year 10th class child would also mention it out because he does not have anything to speak on we have got sufficient things to speak on and we should be like ready with the new material your area of expertise core strength that is why just listen to that video you will get an idea like what can i speak and what can i not okay 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 yeah do that today and, and then uh, we will have an interaction again tomorrow maybe or you can have a slot again so we can have it yeah, uh, sure. next day uh, after tomorrow more thing uh, i'd last i'd like to ask Yeah, yeah. Time. Is it yeah. okay if I ask one more thing? Yeah, yeah. Speak up, Jay. Yeah. Uh, in the in the introductory part, uh, is it okay if I mention uh, my strength in a way uh, to present how am I an asset? Uh, how am I going to be an yeah, asset? Yeah, that can be, can be, can be. Okay. Uh, and pause your introduction, like end your introduction to that extent where you feel like that uh, you want your in uh, interview to move on, right? Okay. So there mm -hmm. you end it out where you want the entire discussion to be there. Okay, be it in a set, be it a project, be it a thesis, be it anything like that. But you need to decide it out that where I need to stop my introduction because introduction do play a very important role. Sometimes yeah. now it is not sure that you will get a question, good question or introduction. That also depends, like panel to panel. Sometimes they have an entire discussion or introduction, and sometimes the situation comes that they do not have a time. They switch it off at ten minutes because they have lot of candidates to cover. So we should be prepared with every question very minutely because you have time and you can dedicate it very nicely. Okay, okay. yeah, okay. come prepared. Then, uh, uh, yeah. Let's see how much you have changed, right? Okay, and okay, I'd so like I'm... to end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing, I and mean, then I would like to end the introduction part uh, on why I'm inclined towards joining ONC, but the but, but because from there on I can carry on with uh, uh, the reasons for my interest and. Uh, talking about yeah, sure. yeah. uh but just brief it out just think out like it should not be more than a minute because right now it was too lengthy i'm warning you out this thing right okay sure. it, it should not like like that 
the person came and he uh, spoke like a puppet it should not be like that and it should look very natural a work is like to train you like it's something very natural though you have prepared it out so that should be okay. there okay? okay yeah okay take care bye bye thank you ma'am